Let's go ahead and arrive here, Trev2323. Sorry I'm a little bit under the weather, but uh, still got to keep going with my videos here. I got like 20 of them that I got to upload because, you know, I'm doing all kind of projects. This right here project is a project that my wife, I think she found on Pinterest or whatever. It's for a baby shower that's themed after Peter Pan. Okay, so this right here, we're going to turn into a window. This right here is just a quarter sheet of plywood that you can get at Menards. All right, so with the plywood... <coughs> We're gonna cut it down to size, but she bought the uh, material here that she wants to make the curtains out of. So the curtains are gonna get hot glued on the top and then tied right here, okay? So uh, for right now, what I'm gonna do is the curtains, you know, when you buy material by the yard, it's frayed and everything. So I'm gonna get a straight line going and I'm gonna sew this, just stitch a really, uh, a really far stitch far apart not use a lot of thread and then this right here we bought you can buy this at Menards also oh man I forgot what size this is let me see what it says no it doesn't say this is in the wood section for the door frames and everything so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hot glue this to the middle right here and then cut pieces to go right here and right here and then the curtains are gonna go like this for to make it look like a window. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and sew the edges. We're gonna cut this in half. And then we're gonna sew the edges. And then my wife is gonna figure out how it's gonna go on here. So we can figure out how to cut the length of the board. And once we cut the length of the board, we're gonna get another piece of wood and nail it onto the back with my little nail gun. With probably one inch brad nails. Nail it to the back so the board can actually just stand up by itself. And it's gonna look like a window with uh, the black stencils of the kids looking out the window from Peter Pan. All right, so bear with us, keep up with us, and we're gonna uh, take you along with this project. The material into two pieces, because we're gonna make two curtains. One to go right here, and then the other to go on the other side right here. So now what I'm gonna do is take the material and iron, go to the iron and fold it in half. So we can have solid edges. I'm gonna iron about a, a quarter inch or half inch in all the way around, and then get the sewing machine right here, and I'm gonna stitch it and make panels. All right, I folded it over and ironed it. See how the pattern has these little dots in the middle, triangle dots? Why well, I ironed it on these triangle dots right here. You see right here. So I ironed it right there. This way, it gives me a straight line across the pattern. Maybe I should have the camera right there. All right, so I ironed it on one of those dots. This way it gives me a straight line. And I have my machine set up on 10. So they're, they're really, really, really in, long in between. So I don't have a little tight one or whatever. Just because it's uh, it's only for decoration. It's not going to need to be really tight and firm, you know. So either way, uh, this is what I'm going to do. I iron one. And I'm going to... Uh, I iron one, then I'm going to sew it, then I'm going to iron the other one, then I'm going to sew it, then I'm going to... you got to do it basically eight times to get all around each panel. You don't really have to do that if you cut them real nice and uh, straight and uh, try to get all the th thread off of it. But what happens is if you don't sew it, you're going to have all these little frayed ends and this is what I don't want. Alright, one panel done. You know, one bad thing about buy buying your uh, material from a, a, a store that's not really a... a craft store or, or for somebody that's working the counter I don't know about sewing as you can see in here I tried to sew the straight line and look at the difference in the material that's how crooked the material was cut because when I filed, folded it and ironed it I folded it on the diamond so I can know I'm in the straight line of the material that material was just cut horrendous but anyways it just makes it a neater thing so it can look like it's actually curtains when it's hot glued onto the board it's going to be hot glued onto the board. You know, with little things at the top, little cuffs at the top kind of. You know, and then it's going to be tied right here. And then hot glued a little bit open right there. But this is the first one that's done. And my wife needs this measured, I mean sewn and everything. Because then she's going to get how long and how wide she wants the board. So this will fit perfect. So I got to start one more of these panels. And then after she measures, I'll show you how she measured to figure it out uh, where we're going from there. Frustration, not frustration setting in, but just get a little bit upset. And I just wanted to show you this. And following the straight line of the pattern on the diamond, like I said, this is how uneven the material was cut. This is how much I would be losing if I uh, hem it like this, and I didn't even hem the other side yet to try to get the straight line. So my honey decided that I do because I left it up to her, 
is that we're just going to fold it half inch from the end this way we can have a little bit wider material so i'm going to iron it half inch from the end and then just sew it like that and the curtains are going to be tied back anyway so it's not going to make that much difference but it's going to give us a little bit more material to use you can see the panels are coming together uh they're going to be uh hot glued you know little scrunches right here then they're going to be tied in the middle right here and then come down and then we're gonna have the characters uh the silhouettes looking out the window and there's gonna be a cross in the window right here and peter pan's gonna be up here where they're like looking out at him so anyways this is step one now you don't have to be as thorough as we did by having these up right here i said but you know i got the sewing machine and anyways and i like the attention to detail so that's why i did it that way either way keep following us along we'll show you step by step how this thing is created all right Jack of all trades, master of none here. What we're going to do is my wife measured the curtains. And the curtains are actually as long as the right here. So what I'm going to do is just get my saw. Cut this right here. Then nail the back end for it. But when I nail the back, you got to cut like a long triangle to find out where it's going to stand up. It's not lean too far back, but it would be able to stand up. Alright, there's the window. Coming together, looking actually like a window. What we decided to do was put the little base that we cut off at the bottom. And if you can see this, let me show you this. This is what I did on the back. I brad nailed the triangle on there. And then I'm going to wood glue, since it's so thin, wood glue that in right now. Before we finish painting it. Because we are going to have to finish painting it. And after we finish painting it, then we're going to wood glue the strips in the middle of the uh, window. So for right now, that's going to get wood glue on right there like that. And then let it set. And uh, as you see, it's, it's coming together here. And that's going to be a windowsill. Alright, that bottom board I just wood glued on. I wood glued the front and the back. When you're pouring on the wood glue, have a rubber glove with you so you can smooth it out. You see this one right here? That's all wood glue. The wood glue will actually hold it pretty good. Then if it doesn't, I'll shoot some brad nails. But that wood glue, is it's already sticky. So it'll hold it really good. And then uh, after that's going ahead uh, dry, we're going to paint this brown for the windowsill. And paint the same color brown as the crosses in the middle. And then uh, right now we're going to let that dry. And everybody, Rob here, Trev2323, Jack of all trades, master of none. Continuing here with this uh, big, uh, uh, what the hell is this damn thing I'm doing? The, um, the window for the uh, 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 Peter in the Pants, for the Peter Pan uh, thingy right here. Uh, I already uh, put the board on here. This right here was all one piece. This is the, uh, I'd adventure to say this is like quarter inch by maybe uh, one inch. You could get it at uh, Menards or Home Depot in their little little wood section there. But uh, I went ahead and I got a brad nailer. So I brad nailed it down. So you could glue this down. This is just to make the window look like a rustic window. Uh, my brad nails actually came through the back. And I just clipped them off with the... Uh, uh, oh, scared the crap out of me. I'll be right back. My compressor went out and scared the crap out of me. My wife's over there cracking up. Feeding my paku. Okay, I just showed a fish. Now you scared him too. <laughs> okay, but either way it goes. So we went ahead. This, this, I got this in the eight foot section. It's like a dollar for the whole damn thing. And then I just uh, kind of measured the best I can to get it centered. Uh, you see, it must have been cross-sided trying to do it. But anyway, so the next step right here is we're not going to paint this like this. We're going to put the curtains on it next. Or I'm always going to hot glue the curtains on there. And then tie them in the back. And then we got to get the silhouettes printed up to put Peter... Uh, uh, Windy and what's the guy's name? Put the kids right here and put the Peter in the pants up there. All right, just keep you posted and it's moving right along. I did put a little piece in the back right here to hold it up, so that's how it's standing up. All right, uh, I'll let you know when the curtains are. All right, still working on it here. I have the stencils right here. You can see, I'm gonna try to get back a little bit. The curtains are gonna go down here. The next we're working on is a stencil right here. Just, uh, this is eight by tens it's like uh four eight by tens is uh i'm not a computer pro or whatever what i use is i the program i use is gimp 2 people use photoshop i use gimp 2 and this was believe it or not this was just from a picture and when I, my wife sent me the picture i had her bluetooth this to my laptop and then what i did with the picture is i blew it up to the size i needed and i used the magic wand and i took out all the black that was in there with the magic wand and then I scaled it to the image that I want. So I scaled it. This is actually, I scaled it to 23 inches. So it's way bigger than what I needed. 
and then I printed it out and pieced it together right here. So now with this right here, I'm gonna have like four pieces of carbon paper taped together, lay it on the black poster board, and then trace this right here with a, a, a pencil so I could get the outline on the poster board and then I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife to cut that out. This right here, I really couldn't tell what the heck that was supposed to be because it, it was a dark, uh, the guy was dark and it was a curtain in front of him so I really couldn't tell. So I'm gonna go ahead and freehand something right here and try to get that drawn in really good with a marker before I go ahead and uh, go over it with the pencil. All right, uh, I'll let you know when I'm uh, going over the carbon paper. All right, right now, I blew up, I showed you I blew these up right here. I got the carbon paper, four of them, just underneath it, and it's on half of the construction paper, black construction paper. So I got the carbon paper on. Don't like lean and draw like, like a lot of lines, just like barely touch it, and then all you gotta do is press hard and trace your image right here, and then you'll know what you need to cut with the X-Acto knife. All right, and there you have it, Bob's Drunkle. As you can see, the stencil came out. For some reason, it wouldn't come out right here. So I went ahead and kind of drew it in with a pen where I'm gonna to have to cut off right there. Drew it in with a pen. And uh, this is, my wife bought me an X-Acto knife. Of course, this is me, so it's probably a not so X-Acto knife of what that should be called. What I decided to do was leave some extra at the bottom and then I'll cut this out later. I'm going to cut like down here and down to here and just maybe do some preparations where this could fold out and use this maybe as a stand. But I went ahead and made shift and filled in his body and everything. Alright, so now I'm just going to cut out the stencil with the X-Acto knife. Look at that. That looks freaking awesome. Cut out with the X-Acto knife. Okay, so what the thing is right here, I didn't cut the feet out the bottom right here. I don't know if I'm going to or not. I kind of like the way they're standing up like that on there. So I don't know if I'm going to cut it out or not. It looks good part of the scene. But right here you see that it's distance like a 3D from it. I like the way that looks. So what I'm going to do is probably right here and probably right up here by the head or somewhere right here. I'm going to put two or three uh, cut out little extra pieces and fold them and fold them and fold them and fold them like springs. And tape them or glue them to the back in a couple spots. So all you see is them like off the wall and they're going to be able to stand up straight. But anyways, it's coming along. Look at how nice that looks. We'll probably get the curtains on before we start gluing them in place, I'm thinking. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Right now, my honey is working on the window and she's trying to find out the pleats because she's going to use the hot glue gun and glue the curtain on the pleats. Where the pleats are gonna go. And then YouTube. And then she's gluing the pleats in the curtain where she wants to them to be at. I just went away for two minutes to iron my uniforms and it's already almost done with this. It's coming out really nice. It looks like a regular window. There's the window right there for the Peter Pan. And what we got to do is I still pick up the tie from where she's holding it with her hand. That's going to be tied back on both sides. And then the stencils are going to be standing right here on this side. And the Peter Pan's going to be on the top over there on that side. But that's the window coming along right now. All right, that's what it's coming like out like right now. The kid's looking out the window. Now, it's not the finished product. My wife's actually thinking about using different twine for that. And we're going to have the kids off to the side a little bit. Standing back from there like they're 3D. Right now, they're just standing up on there right there. But they're going to be looking up. And Peter Pan is going to be up right around this area right here. That's what they're going to be looking up at. But that's the Peter Pan window that we're making. All right, this is the thing coming to life right now. Uh, we actually hot glued this on right here at the bottom. So I'm gonna give it a little distance. You see it looks kind of 3D, like mixed media. And we cut a piece of black construction paper and fold it up in three pieces. And it's on the back of, what's this guy's name? 
That's Wendy. That's who I don't know whoever that is. My, my computer. My phone. My phone. Okay, so we're gonna fold another little piece and put it to stand her out a little bit from the window also. And then I'm gonna cut Peter in the pants out right now. Okay, this is the finished product of the Peter in the pants uh, backboard. This is the Peter Pan backboard for this is gonna be for the gift table. I did it all by myself. Whatever. <laughs> my wife and my daughter helped me with it. My wife actually did most of it. I just had to do the cutting and everything. But you see the completed thing with the Peter Pan off into the top and the kids looking out the window at Peter Pan over there. Uh, the fabric was from bought from Walmart. It's just attached with a heat gun. We did sew all the way around it. And then with the figurines there, we did put something to spring them kind of off the back right there to make it look 3D. But I think overall it looks very good. And this is what's actually going to sit on the table for all the gifts and all the presents. Although you can't see this till after the baby shower. Alright? Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Bye-bye.